Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on the Flashpoint Flash film and just DC live action in general, because this is pretty insane what we're going to go over. So the Flash movie has been just this thing that we have been waiting a while for. It was originally scheduled uh, to be in cinemas over two years ago. We'd have already watched it if the, you know nothing had cha you know nothing had happened and stuff like that. But this time around, it looks like we are going to finally be getting this film as it's uh, the filming scheduled to start around March next year. It's, I think it's end of February or beginning of March. It's one of the two. Now we have already had a good amount of info or information come out for the movie, seeing it's. You know, not going to be in cinemas for another 18 months or so. So the amount we have is pretty good. And as I said, it's not going to start filming until next year. Some of this, uh, including the return of Ben Affleck's Batman for what looks to be his final appearance. From the way everything's worded, it sounds like this is it. This is where they have that version of Batman exit the universe, if that makes sense. Or at least the main continuity. And also we have the reprisal of Michael Keaton's Batman from the 1989 Batman film. And also Batman, Batman Returns a few years later. And it looks like he's going to be this main Batman for a bit at least. Until I guess if they decide if they want to fold in the Robert Pattinson Batman. Now Flashpoint is of course the basis for the film. Or at least it's you know what it's being built off or inspired by. Or just based off. Uh, which we all knew about. But they are making it a bit more multiversal in nature. Rather than a parallel timeline by the looks of it. Now a new report has come out which gives us more information and characters. That's the big thing. Characters that could be appearing in this upcoming uh, Flash solo film. Now, I need to emphasize another word there. Could. It's not that they will, but could. So we will go over all of this. Break it down and yeah, the usual. But of course... Throughout the video, be sure to let me know your various opinions in the comments section down below. Which of these excites you the most? Would you have any other characters from the DC Multiverse show up? I'm very curious to hear what you guys have to say, so let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video and you just, you know, and just, you know, you like what you hear, that's the best way to put it. If you like what you hear, drop a like in the video to show support. Now, this report is coming from Fandom Y. Now, just going to be honest, I'm not overly familiar with their work in regards to how accurate they are you know, across the board and all that in regards to DC stuff at the very least. They were spot on. I know this, I'm pretty sure this is actually a fact. I'm not going to say I know because I'm just, I'm pretty sure at least they were spot on about um, this exclusive that they revealed, which was the Black Adam character list, which involved the JSA members. So they got it all right, like months ago. It was early in the year, it was like much earlier in the year. Um, so they got that right. So they have some, you know, I guess a, a decent record in regards to it based off that. But anyways, as always, take this information with a grain of salt. This isn't official confirmation or anything like that. So Fandom Wire sources tell them that the movie will follow the comics uh, Flashpoint plotline with Barry going back to stop a specific event, of course, that being the death of his mother. But in doing so, Barry messes up the timeline. As Barry goes back to try and find his regular world, he stumbles into many new ones, allowing for the opportunity for various cameo appearances. So it seems like... They're going to do the whole thing where instead of time traveling, it's sort of jumping and vibrating and jumping into other Earths in the multiverse and stuff like that. But obviously, they're going to stick with the whole basis of it's to save his mother and everything like that. The big question around this is whether Reverse Flash is involved, whether he's even referenced or brought up, or they treat it as something else. Like Reverse Flash didn't kill Barry's mother and it was some other source. It'll be interesting to see what they do in the, the movie. Now, there is word that producers want him to stop quickly into Nolan's Gotham City, but since Batman is technically dead in that timeline, obviously, if you remember in The Dark Knight Rises, they think Batman blew up with like that bomb thing, but he's actually alive in, in like Italy or whatever. Anyway, because they think he's dead, uh, Barry might see a newspaper explain that Batman is dead. However, as impossible as they know it will be, the producers are very keen to try and get Christian Bale to show up, in which case they'll adjust it. Now... With this, they could easily make it that Barry time travels and maybe where he time travel or like jumps into that world, he hasn't, you know, quote unquote died at that stage. So maybe it's like in between the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises or it's in between Batman, and the Dark Knight, something like that. That's where he might show up if they want to keep that timeline in check where you know, Batman never came back. So they could do that without messing too much with Nolan's thing. Or they could easily make it that this is just another parallel Earth, very, 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 very similar to the Dark Knight trilogy's Earth, but it's not the one that we saw. So it's a tiny bit different, and in this parallel timeline, maybe he doesn't die or something. Like, everyone knows that he faked it. I don't know. But man, if they got Christian Bale to show up along with Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton, the three most well-known Batman, uh, man, this movie would make so much money. It'd be worth the money to get them back. 
Now, other Batman worlds on deck are Val Kilmer and George Clooney's, both of which are also being approached. Val Kilmer was recently scheduled to do a DC fandom panel, as talk of a Batman Forever Schumacher cut keeps raging, so he seems more likely to agree to something over Clooney. Depending on interest, Chris O'Donnell from Batman and Robin and Batman Forever is also being approached to, uh, to reprise his Robin, which he played opposite both Batman. Now, um, Val Kilmer probably would be the more likely to return. However, I think he had health issues. I'm not sure if that would prevent him from suiting up again or at least playing Bruce Wayne. Not too sure what that would be like. I think George Clooney would be really cool. I know he played in like probably the worst Batman movie, um, depending on how you view that movie in regards to tone and everything like that, whether you watch it as a comedy or a serious movie. Um, but it'd be cool to have George Clooney there. I don't think he'd mind suiting up as Batman again, especially if they took the mick. If they took the mickey and just made fun of the whole thing. Maybe he wears like the bat nipple suit or something like that. Uh, and someone, most likely Barry, I guess, would point out the nipples. That'd be fairly funny. Now, with the Chris O'Donnell thing, obviously he played Robin. In Batman Forever, he looked more like Nightwing. Like he had like a Nightwing sort of suit going on. So it would be pretty cool if maybe uh, Chris O'Donnell's Dick Grayson now, at this point in time, is maybe Nightwing. That'd be fairly cool. Or maybe they could even make it that on his on his... Thing. Maybe at this point, maybe he's developed and become Batman. You know, Dick Grayson has been Batman, so maybe they could do that. But I think Nightwing would be better for him to play, just because he'd be older. Now, the report from Fandom Wire, well, their sources, uh, might I say, also say that Grant Gustin's Barry Allen from the CW's as The Flash could also show up, having already met the CW's Crisis on Infinite uh, Earths, two-part finale. They've met there already. Um... So, and we also know that, uh, that like the TV version of Barry Allen was the one to give the movie version or Ezra, uh, Ezra Miller's version of The Flash, the name The Flash. Jim Lee has confirmed that. They've said that's canon, um, that that's how he gets the name The Flash. So I think almost like as a, the fan of why I put it here, like a nod of respect. And I think that's probably the best way to put it, or at least paying back the favor. So I think that's, now this doesn't really come as too much as a surprise that this isn't here. I think this would be the one that I think is a guarantee. At least it's probably the most likely out of any of these cameo or guest appearances to happen. Jim Lee set that all up. I, I highly doubt they wouldn't push this and make it happen if there's going to be cameos and, you know, visiting other worlds and stuff. So if you're going to nail down one of these cameos to happen, I would say this one. I think this one makes sense. The the big question is, how do they do it? They can't just reuse the same thing of Crisis because that's from Barry's POV. That's from his, like, TV version, Barry. It's from his point of view. They have to do something with Ezra. So maybe this is another meeting afterwards. So it's the, it's the second meeting between the two. I think that'd be the best way to do it. Now we move on to some Superman stuff. Now, Brandon Routh is set to appear as not one, but two versions of Superman. He's a Kingdom Come version that we saw in Crisis on Infinite Earths, as well as a more classic take on Superman or take of Superman in the style of Christopher Reeve, like we saw in Superman Returns, which of course was meant to be the same character just years later and played by Brandon Routh. But the big thing with this is that so was the Kingdom Come version, at least that will, that's what we're led to believe, and there's even references in Crisis that this is the same version from Superman Returns. Um, the thing that you do is the similar thing I was saying with the whole Nolan thing, where if they don't want to make Batman dead, they can make it like a parallel Earth that's very, very similar. So maybe they do the same thing here. These two versions of Superman are super similar, similar storylines, if not the exact same. They're just from a parallel Earth, and there's not much difference between them outside of maybe their age. So the Kingdom Come version is older, and this more classic take is the younger version. So they could do that. Um, I think it's a bit weird to make him play two unless they really want to really focus on the multiverse, how these two are the same, but just one looks older. I don't know. I found it's a bit weird when I heard it, but they could make it work. Um, but yeah. But the last thing that they talked about was the big thing that they said. So the the big part of this report from Fandom Wire, according to them, the one that has also made people online go, wow, along with the Brandon Routh stuff, was that their sources say that they are also approaching Nicolas Cage to briefly portray Tim Burton's version of the Superman that never was. So if you didn't know, t um, Nicolas Cage was cast as Superman in a Superman ver uh, movie uh, directed by Tim Burton, who made the first two Batman movies, you know, Batman and then Batman Returns. Now, they're saying that to make this cameo even cooler... Uh, Nicolas Cage wouldn't just be a cameo from another world, so Earth, you know, 22 or something like that, but instead he would portray the Superman in Michael Keaton's worlds. So he's the Superman to Michael Keaton's Batman, and apparently this is where a bulk of the film will, you know, apparently take place. 
So he wouldn't just be going to his earth for the sake of it, just saying, oh, there's another Superman. He would actually fold into what is going on and would appear and it's just as if he was in the, just casually because it's his same earth and he would have interacted, I guess, with Michael Keaton's Batman before. Now, the big question that comes from this is, well, if we go to the CW Flash's earth, could Tyler Hecklin show up? I mean, it's another Superman. If you're going to have all these Superman, does he show up as well? It opens up the door. I think we're going to get many more cameos in this, but I think they're going to try and fold them into the worlds that are already there. So if they want like another Flash randomly shot, let's just say it's Jay Garrett. Let's just say it's John Wesley Ship. Not saying it's going to happen, but let's just say it's John Wesley Ship's Flash. He would be on Michael Keaton's 1989 Batman world. You know, obviously just years later. So you have an older Flash, older Superman, older Batman. They could do that if they wanted to. And even maybe even Linda Carter Wonder Woman if they wanted to. But when you speak of Superman, this, bring, this brings up the big question. Are you going to get Henry Cavill Superman here? Who knows what's happening with that character? I think a cool way to do it would maybe be like at the end of Flashpoint when Barry fixes everything. Henry Cavill shows up as Superman for a last thing. Maybe even like Momoa and Gal Gadot and stuff like that. And it shows that they're the same. But then it shows that Michael Keaton's Batman is this new Batman in this new world. That's now uh, a thing because of Flashpoint. So he's the Batman, but everyone else is the same. But they just make that clear by showing them. That's how you could do Henry Cavill in this movie. Or even have him towards the beginning as well, along with Affleck uh, as Batman as well. But um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with just... Not just the Flash and the characters are already announced, but just with all these cameos, because I think we're going to get a decent amount. But yeah, guys, let me know your various thoughts and opinions on this in the comments section down below. I am very curious to hear what you guys have to say, which of these you're looking forward to the most. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like and it show support, help support the channel. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.